All right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel today. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys all my cars from all the mods I have for Assetto Corsa. So it's probably gonna be a long run. So I think I have like a little over 600 cars in front of that. So it's probably gonna be like a long video. So I'm gonna go through each one one by one. And in front of that, and then after that, I'm gonna show you all my tracks, which I don't, I don't have a lot of tracks on there. So starting off, I have the well, this one's like modified. Koenigsegg just go attack version of it and then next up we have the two fast two furious Nissan Skyline from the second fast and furious movie we have the Lexus IS 300 the five-speed one the 2009 Bugatti Veyron 16.4 a Barth 500 set of course not Corsa a course <laughs> then we have the another a Barth which is the 500 SS and then the step one version of the previous one and then we have the 595 SS which is a classic right there and we also have step one and step two versions of it right there I have no idea it took 25 seconds to reach 0 to 60 on that one <laughs> and then we have the R6 Type S we have Aiden's 1JZ S15 the Alfa Romeo 155 Ti V6 the 33 Stradale the 4C the Julia Quadrifoglio then we have the Alfa Romeo GTA, the Alfa Romeo QV, and then we and we have the TZD Stradale Zagato. And then after that we have the Amuse S2000 R1, the Ascari A10, and the KZ1R. Moving up to Aston Martin, we have the 2011 Aston Martin 177, the Audi R18 e-tron Quattro. We have the Audi R8 4.2 FSI R-Tronic. This one, I just, this one, I don't know why. I'm not going to count this one because I literally just made, made it physics. I'll see what it was. I was experimenting with something, so I'm going to skip that one. Then we have the Audi R8 GT V10 2023. The R8 LMS 2016. The LMS Ultra. We have the R R8 V10 Plus Spider. And we have the Gen 1 R8 V10 Plus here. And also, I have a twin turbo, made a twin turbo version of it right there. And then we have the coupe version of the, the Gen 2 R8 2016. We have the RS7 Performance to 2017. We have a Sportback. We have the Audi S1, S, S7, Sport Quattro. We have Step 1 version of that car Audi Sport Quattro S1 E2. We have the Audi TT Cup, TTRS, the race version of it. We have the B Engineering Adonis, the Platinum Motorsports Bentley Continental GT, the BMW 1M, the BMW 1M Stage 3. And then we have the i8 Liberty Walk, the No Hezzy spec. We have the M2 Competition, the TGN slash Pervy, or however you pronounce his name. I, can't, I don't even know how. You have the M2 G87, the no hezzy spec here. We have the M235i Racing. We have the, the 2018 BMW M3. Probably, is, yeah, it's F80 you here. Sorry about that, it's like dog barking in the background. I'm trying to record this video here. You have the BMW M3 E30. We have uh, the, the drift version of the E30. And you have the Step 1, the Group A, the GRA 892. Then we have the e E46 Musk Customs at Don Musk. And then we have the E92 M3. And then we have the DCT Pro Charger version of that one. We have a Drift version of the M3, a Liberty Walk version of the M3, M tuned. M2 manual transmission. And we have step one. And this one, we have like a left off E92 stock right here. We have the manual transmission version of the E92, the stock version of it. And then we have the M3 G80 competition RF tuned. We have the BMW M3 GT2, the M340i G20, the no hezzy spec, the BMW M4. 
2021 BMW M4. The Acro... M4 Ac... Acro... I don't know how to pronounce that name. <laughs> also, BMW M M4A. To be simplify it. And then we have the M4 Competition. And then we have the manual version of the G82 Coupe. And then we have the E60 M5. The manual version of it. And then we have the F10 Edition. Based off the M F E60 M5 right here. The Ericsson. The manual version again but this one the wheels are black the smg the automatic then we have the, the smg in the rain spec we have regular just plain the smg version of it then we have the bmw m6 smg and we have the manual version of it as well and we have the m8 competition coupe rear wheel drive the z4 the drift version of it step one z4 gt3 then we have the Bugatti Bolide. We have the Chiron. We have the Black Edition of the Chiron, which is like fictional tuned and about that. Then we have the Pure Sport. Then we have the Sport with the glass roof on there. And then we have the the Chiron Super Sport, the non 300 plus version of it, or Lux version of the Super Sport, 300 plus, anyways. And this one, we have another Super Sport route. This one's using the the Chiron 300. The Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus has a base for it. So, the, hence the wheels are about that. If you look at that one, this one's its own, well, not necessarily its own car. It has like different wheels for it. This one has the wheels from the Super Sport 300 Plus. And obviously, we have the Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus. Then we have the Devo, the Mistral. Then we have the Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse. And we have the Super Sport. Then we have a C10 pickup, Cadillac CTS V2004. Escalade V, the Camaro Z01, the non 1LE, and then we have the 1LE version of the Z01. We have the C7 Stingray, the C7R, C8 Coupe, C8 3LT Convertible, and then we have the Z51, and then we have the European spec for both of those right here. And then we have the European spec of the Z06 3LZ Coupe. Then we have the Z07 Performance Package, the Chevy Cruze, the 67 Impala, the Chrysler ME412, the Crown Majesta, the DNO Honda Civic, the Dive 2 Street Spec, the Datsun 510, the Devil 16, the Nissan Sil 80, the Dodge Challenger Demon, we have the SRT Hellcat. Then we have the Demon, which that's that's wrong. Those specs are wrong. It's supposed to have, have 840 horsepower on 100 octane race fuel. And then we have uh, the manual version of the Hellcat, and we have the Red Eye, well the wide body version of it. They have a Scat Pack, a Hellcat wide body. They have a Ram SRT 10, Viper SRT 10. A drag factory Toyota Supra, and you have the 8,000 horsepower. Well, not necessarily 8,000 horsepower. This one has 1,050. And you have a, a Drift Time 67 Impala, Ferrari 250 GTO, the 312 67, the 312 T, 330P4, the 458 GT2. You have the street legal version of the the. The Ferrari 458 GT2, which is using, is using the, using the, the regular one as a base for it, but they just added the wheels of it though. Then we have the 458 Italia. Then we have the Stage 3 version of the 458. Then we have the 458 Italia Spider. The 458 Special. And then we have the US spec. Then we have the 458 Special Aperta. 488 GT3. 48 GTB, 599 XX Evo, 812 GTS, 812 Superfast, we got an Enzo here, F12 Berlinetta, F138, F2004, we have the F40, stage 3 version of it, the F430 Scuderia Spider, here we have the F50, F50 GT, 
FX X Evolution. If we, or how, I can't pronounce that name, so I'm, that's why I'm saying Evolution right there. Then we have the FXXK. Then we have the FXXK Evo, which is exactly the same. This one is using a ba the, this one as a base for it. Just, basically, what this person did is basically just added the body kit for it and and changed the downforce of it. Like the physics remain unchanged, even without that. So then we have the Ferrari GTO, the La Ferrari, the La Ferrari Aperta. The SF15T, the SF70H, SF90 Spider, SF90 Stradale, the No Hezzy spec version of the SF90. You have the Crown Victoria Police Interceptor, the Ford Crown Victoria 2010 GT500, that wants a swap, the X Police version of it, an unmarked version of the Crown Victoria here. We have a Ford Escort RS 1600, Ford Fusion 2017, Ford GT40, Ford Mustang 2015. And then we have the Dark Horse 2024 Mustang. We have the EcoBoost 2018 Mustang. Then we have the HPP Mustang, basically the performance package, performance package for the EcoBoost. And then we have a 5.0 Mustang. Just the regular one and the performance package too, and those are both six speed, six speed manuals. And then we have the 2018 FBO Track Mustang GT, which those that was the only car I could find with a 10 speed automatic. Then we have the Shelby GT500, the carbon wheels, and the regular wheels as well. And you have the Gimbala F355 and the Mirage GT. And then we have the Alpha. QV, the Launch Edition, 2014, the Gordon Murray T50. We have the production version of the Hennessy Venom F5, the Hennessy Venom GT, and also the concept version of the Hennessy Venom F5. We have the Chavik Tesla Model S. They have the Honda Accord 2.0T, the Acti. Honda H83 to K K truck. Then we have the Civic Type well the old type R. What the old type R. And we have like the newer type R here. You have the EK Cup. We have the the new Honda Civic, the FE RS. And the, the old type R 2007. Another type R from 99. The type R the pushing P tuned. Then we have another Type R, FN2. And then we have FL5 Type R. And a no Hezzy spec version of the Type R. Then we have the CRX the Del Sol. We have the Honda Fit here. Just and then I just made a regular version of it. Ignore, ignore that last one right there. And then we have the Integra Type R. Well, both versions of it. We have the a tuned version of it and a stock version of it as well. Then we have the right hand drive version of the fit called the Jazz. We have uh, an NSX. Well, few, we're gonna, we have a few NSXs here. We have the Type S, the Veil side, which all, all, uh, I don't know. I don't know why it's showing that photo here. <laughs> Come on now. Alright, sweet. Okay. Do we have the NSX R? Do we have the Odyssey? The Prelude. That's 2000. The AP1. And then we have the AP2. That's 2000 from 2006. Then we have the FD2 Type R. Do we have another Ford Fusion? This one's like a stanced out version. I don't know why it doesn't work. Then we have the Infinity G35 slash 7 Sedan Drift. The Infinity G37 Coupe, the, the No Hezzy spec, and then we have the Infinity G37, the, the Pervy spec here, right here. Yeah, this is the one I, I tuned it like that. Well, I messed up the stats and everything like that, so. Anyway, no. And then we have a, a 2JZ 
Infinity G37, the cut up spec. And then we have a, the Q50 all wheel drive, a Q60 400, a Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, J Racing's S2000. Then we have the Koenigsegg Aguera, the standard one. This is the, with the standard wing and everything like that. Another standard Aguera with the F1 twin deck wing. That's what they call it. Then we have the Aguera R. I mean, an Aguera A and Aguera S version out of it since. Okay, whoever created that mod, like, somebody need to make it an Aguera S version of it with, like, all the. Uh, with all the skins on it, though. Whoever is the creator of this, so. And then we have the Aguera RS. Second world's fastest production car in the world. And then we have the RSR. Then we have the CC8S, CCGT, the CCX, CCXR edition, the Jamera, the Jesco, the 2023, and we have the Absolute version of it. And then we have the 121, the, the Roofless version of the 121. And then we have the, the Patrol version of the 121. And we have the upgraded turbo version. And then we have the Regera, one with the open, the closed roof. And then we have one with the high downforce package. With the closed roof, this one is the open top version. And this one's with the metal wheels. The, the other one I showed previously, what they had the carbon wheels on it. So and then you have the metal spider. And then also the open roof version of it for both of these right there. Then we have the KTM Expo R, you, you not the Lamborghini Aventador, LP 780-4. Then we have uh, the Aventador SV, the Centenario, the coupe version of it, and also I have the Roadster version of the Centenario as well, the Countach, the S1 version of it. Then we have the the modern Countach, the LPI 800-4. And then we have the Gallardo LP550-2 in 2011. And then we have the Valentino version of the Gallardo. And we have the 6 speed manual version of it, of the Valentino version of it. And then we have the LP560-2 50th anniversary, Anniversario, that's what they call it, the 2013 version of it. And then the six, obviously the 6 speed manual version of that. And then, we have uh, the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4 from 2008, the 560 by color, which is from 2010, the LP574 Spider Performante from 2011, and then we have the manual version of the LP570-4, which those cars are rare, <laughs> fun fact. Then you have the Gallardo Superleggera, and then the Gallardo Superleggera Step 3, which is basically an underground racing tune for it. Then we have the Huracan Evo rear-wheel drive, the Evo Spider rear-wheel drive. We have GT3, the Performante. Then you have the 2000 horsepower version of the Performante, which is, that car is crazy, by the way. The Huracan Super Trofeo, the Storado, the UGR 800, which this one produced 1,800 horsepower, which is crazy. Then we have the Mira, the Mercy Lago 2005, the manual Mercy Lago, the LP 640. The one I showed that was a, a non-LP 6, non, a non-LP. Then the Rev Voluto, which I'm gonna get another version of that mod. Experience this one just has like the body of it, but no interior. I don't know why I got that. Then we have the Sesto Elemento, the Veneno, the, now we're to Lexus, we have the GSF, the Team Sesh. Then we have the IS500 F, F Sport Performance. Then we have the, the Gen 1 ISF, well, well, the first generation of the ISF family. Then we have the LC500 Convertible, the LFA. And then we have the Nurburgring package of the LFA. Then we have the pre-facelift LS430 from 2001 to 2003. 
Then we have the LS400, Turbo S1. I don't know why that mod don't work. Then we have the, the Lexus LS400 from 1989. And we have one from 1993. So this one's from like 1990 to 1992 when they began production. This one's from 93 to 94. You have the second generation LS400, which ran from 98 to 2000. And then we have the VIP version of it. And then we have my car right there, which is the LS430 right here, which I, I own it in real life, like that. You have the 326 Power LS430, the Junction Produce, which this one, that one, are, and also the VIP versions of it, they're all pre facelifts. And then we have the RCF, the Rocket Bunny version of the RCF, the SC430, an LS400, the UCF21, another UCF21, and then we have a Live to Offend GT86, the Lotus 211, and then we have the GT4 version of it, the 311, the 72D, 98T, Lotus Elise SC, Lotus Elise SC Step 1, Step 2, Lotus Avora GTC, Lotus, Lotus Avora GTE, Lotus Avora GTE, the carbon version of it. Then we have the GX, S, Lotus Avora S Stage 2, the Lotus Exige 240R, Stage 3, Lotus Exige S. And also we have the Roadster version of it, the Scura, the V6 Cup. The 120 Lotus XLS 125. And also we have the Stage 1 version of it. The Type 25 Lotus we have now. We have Type 49. LSG 180SX S13. We have the Aristo. Sofiro. The Cresta. Laurel. Mark II. One Via. One Via S15. The Proger. The RX7. The FC. The RX-7 the FD version of it, RX-8, Sil-80 pickup, Sil-80 S13, Sylvia S13, Sylvia S14 Kuki, Sylvia S14 Zinki, and then we have the S15, Skyline HTR R32 four-door, LSG Skyline V35 four-door, the V36 Skyline, the SOAR 430 SCV, the SOAR JZZ30. And then we also have the 5-speed version of it. And then we have the UCF 21 Celsius, the Maserati now, 250F, 12 cylinder, and then we have the 6 cylinder version of it, the Ferry. Then we have the Gran Turismo MC GT4, the Levante, the MC12, the MC12 GT1. Quattroporte, and then now the Mazda, we have the 787B, the Miata, the Miata Turbo, this is the Gingium spec, the MX-5 Cup, the MX-5 ND, the Mazda RX-7 Infini, and then we have the Spirit R, then we have the tuned version of the Mazda RX-7, then we have the Veilside version of the the RX-7 from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. And also this one, another version of the Veil side, but this one's push, pushing P-tuned, and this one's like the Tokyo Drift spec. Then we have the RX-8, the four rotor engine swap, a turbo RX-8, and then we have the Type S from 2007, right there. Now the McLaren, we have the 570S, the 600LT, the Coupe, the 600 LT Spider, 650S GT3, 675 LT Spider, 720S Spider, the 765 LT Coupe, and also I have the 765 LT Spider as well. And then we have the F1, the F1 GT, the GTR, and also the LM version of it, which, <laughs> yeah. So, and then we have the MP4-12C, the GT3 version of it. Then we have the McLaren P1, the P1 GTR, 
And then I have another P1, but this one has the limiter re removed on it, so they call it the Hyper 1200. Then we have the Saber, the Senna, and Speedtail. Moving on to Mercedes Benz, we have the CLS 63 AMG, the W219, the SLS AMG. Then we have the GT3 version of the SLS. Then we have the 190E Evo, Mercedes Benz AMG GT3. Then we have the Mercedes Benz, the Brabus GT Rocket 900. Then we have the SC63S AMG Coupe Tuned. Then we have the Mercedes Benz C9 1989 LM. The CL, the CL65 AMG with a limited edition. The E63S AMG. This one's tuned. S63 AMG. Then we have the SL55 AMG, the R230. The SL65 AMG Black Series. And then we have the Mitsubishi Eclipse, the Fast and Furious spec. Then we have the Evo IX, the pushy, pushing P tuned. And then we have the Evo 8. Then we have the Evo 4. Then we have another Evo here, we have the Evo IX here, the Evo 8, another one. And we have a tuned version of this, the Evo 8 right here. And then we have the Evolution 10. And then we have the MRN Honda Integra XSI. Got another version of that. And then we have the Mugen Civic, the Mugen RR, the Advanced Spec. And then we have Morimoto's 350Z from Tokyo Drift. And then we have DK's 350Z from Tokyo Drift as well yes yes th th this this skin right here <laughs> and then we have the 370z nismo we're now officially in a nissan now then we have the nissan z the sema y33 the fair lady z top secret the fair lady z roadster a gtr gt3 the nismo gtr and then we have the, the Nissan Sentra, the SCR, we have the S15 Silvia, the Skyline R34 GTR, which is everyone's favorite, by the way. Then we have the R32. I don't know what happened. Skip over that. We, then we have the, the Noble M500. Skip over. Because I know some, some of these like corrupted files and about that. So. Then we have the P45 Composizione. Then we have the, the Pagani Waira, the Waira BC, the, Co the Waira Kotalunga, or Longtail. Then we have the Waira Emola. Then we have the Waira R. Then the Waira Roadster. <laughs> then the Tricolor, the, the Tricolor. Right here. And then the Utopia, which is the part the the successor to the Wyra. Then we have the Utopia R, which is a this is just a fictional version of it. Like it's probably gonna happen like like probably won't even happen to like probably somewhere around 2030 or something like that. I don't know. But then we have the Zonda Cinque, the hardtop version of it. And then we have the Zonda Cinque Roadster. Then the Zonda HP Marchetta. Then the Pagani Zonda R. Then we have the Pinaferia Batista. Now moving on to Porsche, we have the 718 Boxster S. And then we have the PDK version of it. This one was a manual. This one's a semi-automatic version of it. Then we have the Cayman S, the RS60 Spider, the 908 LH, the 911 Carrera RSR 3.0, the Carrera S, the 911 GT190 from 98, 98 that one's from 96 i don't know why i said 98 for a second because i always thought 98 was, like, was that the year of the card i was like never mind so then we have the 911 gt3 manual then we have the gt3 cup from 2017 the gt3r from 2016 
Then we have the GT3 RS, the 911R, the 911 RSR, then we have the Turbo S, the 917K, the Porsche 917 slash 30 Spider. Then we have the Porsche 918 Spider. This one's the Y6 spec, Y6 package right there, the specification of it. Then we have the 919 Hybrid from 2015. And we have one from 2016 as well. And then the 935 slash 78, which that other one, I cannot say that on camera here. And then we have the 962C long tail. And then we have the 962C short tail. And then we have a Crow GT here. That, that's the old version of it. This is the current version I drive. Then we have the 04 Crow GT right there. Then we have the Cayenne Turbo S, the Cayman GT4, the Club Sport, the, the Macan Turbo. Then we have the Panamera Turbo. Then we have the Taken Turbo S Cross Turismo, the Praga R1. And then we have the Remex C2. And then we have the production version of the concept version, which is the Nevera. And then we have the roof CTR Yellowbird, the CTR3 Club Sport, the RT12R with the real wheel drive version of it. And then we have the all wheel drive version of the RT12R. Then we have the S7R S2000. Then moving on to Saline, we have the S331 Super Cab. Uh, we have the S7 Twin Turbo with the carbon skin like that. The carbon stripe going across the car and like that. Then we have the SCG 03C, the Scion XB, the Shelby Cobra 427SC. Skip over that. Then we have the Sylvia S14 Kuki D Max. Then we have the Skyline R34 V Spec Midnight Wanderer Tune. I don't know. I don't know. I really, I really downloaded the 400R. I don't know why. I don't know why it didn't even work. I think. Anyway, moving on. We have the Spoon S2000. Then we have the Ford GTX1. Then we have the SSE 2 Atari, which well, number one fastest production car at 282 miles an hour. In like two ways and everything like that. Then we have the Aggressor, which that one has yet to be built and everything like that in, in real life yet. This one has 2200 horsepower, and then there's the aggressor, which one once been built like that. They built they built one, they were built one high speed version to, to, to Atari for the uh, client in Pennsylvania who owns the last Ultimate Arrow. And then the striker was owned one by like a former NFL football player called Michael Strahan, like that. And then we have the SSE Ultimate Arrow. I don't know why I have multiple versions of it right here. And then we have another SSE Ultimate Arrow right here. Yeah, these two are the same. Yeah, this one is mainly I drive that drive this version the most. Cause this one because this one can do over 265 miles and 267 miles an hour. Just like I did in Forza Horizon. No, Forza Motorsport 4, like years back. Like that. It was like three years ago. Yeah, that's that's why. Otherwise, these two versions of it, unless if I like change the physics of it, it would not go past 250. I don't know why, but <laughs> Then we have the Subaru Impreza 22B STI, the Impreza Coupe WRX. Then we have the, the WRX GD Track, the WRX STI, the 2016 WRX STI. Then we have the. Hold on, we're gonna take, take a sip some real quick. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry about that. This is what I'm sipping Mountain Dew, by the way, so. Then we have the the non-turbo sailing S7, just like full full color, never about that, no carbon skins or anything like that. Then we have the sailing S7 Twin Turbo, which again full color, like no carbon skin or anything like that. Then we have the the Tatus FA01. And then we have the Team Effort Chevette. The Datsun 280ZX, the Infiniti G35 sedan, the G37 sedan, 
We have the Infinity M30, the Q45 G50, the Infinity Q45 Y33, the IS300 Sport Cross, Team Effort Lexus LS430, the Pre Facelift, the Nissan 240SX Coupe, then we have the 240SX SX Zinke, then we have the 300ZX Z31, Z32, and then we have a Nissan 350Z with the Z33. Here we have a hard body, the Scion FRS, the Tesla Model S Plaid, the TGN Audi RS6 V10 Avant, then we have the Mercedes-Benz Brabus 800E63S, the Fast and Furious Mitsubishi Eclipse, the Toyota Supra, which is iconic from the Fast and Furious movie, well these two are from the very first one, and then we have the Nissan Th Fairly DZ Nismo right here. The cool car, yeah, cool car. By the way, here we have the Toyota Colt S2000, the Toyota 8086. We also have the drift version of it, the tuned version. Then we have the Alteza. Then uh, this one, I just put in a 2JZ from a Supra. Then we have the Toyota Alteza again, the CS, the one with BBS wheels on there. And then we have Toyota Camry, Toyota Celica, Toyota Century, Toyota Crown, GRS 180, GSR 180. Hold on. Okay, they're, they're probably they're probably the same, just different wheels. And then you have the Toyota GT86 here, the Beams version of the GT86. Then we have the GT86 TRD Turbo. Well, it has a body kit on it and a turbo. Then we have the Mark II JZX100. The Toyota Mark II Tour. Right here. On a, on a, on a riot. It displayed a photo of Alexis IS right here. Then we have the 1998 Toyota MR2 GTS. The Toyota MRS Haru Spec. The C1 Motorsports MRS. Then we have the Toyota Sprinter Torino GT. The Toyota Supra, the A70. Then we have the A80 Supra, which is everyone's favorite. They have the drift version of it, a time attack version of it. Then we have the OG Hugo version of it. That one has a thousand horsepower. Then we have the TRD Supra. Then we have the the TRD Supra 1300 horsepower. This one, we have a 700 horsepower version of it for like those who like want to be want a little bit more tameable car like that. Then we have a 900 horsepower versus Supra. That's what, I'm just I'm going off basically what the title says. I don't know I don't know why because then we have the TS 040 hybrid. Then we have the Mount on a traffic car, which I might not count traffic cars for this. I'm just counting like actual mods I I literally got off the internet like that. So you have the, the, the TVR Sabera Speed 12, the Volkswagen W12 with the Nardo concept, and uh, that's pretty much it for like all the cars. So I'm going and grab my favorite car out there. Well, well, the car I'm, we're we're gonna take a look at in the next video. I'm just, I'm gonna showcase like some cool cars here in a set of Corsa like that. So basically, this is gonna come up. This is gonna be coming up like very very shortly here. And then I'm gonna show you all my tracks. Then we have Highlands, which is from the base game. Obviously, I have the Highway version, the Highway 160 Nevada, which. Which Koenigsegg and SSC used to test their cars top speeds. Well, SSC is for the first time before like the controversy controversy happened and everything like that. And then Koenigsegg has used it to test it back in 2017 with the Gear RS and everything like that. So they used that right there. Then we have the Amola, the Laguna Seca, Longford, Magion, right here. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Then we have Monza. We have. Monza 1966, 
We have MTN Saudi Arabia Street, Gap Yellow, Nardo, Need for Speed Carbon Drift. Then we have I have the most wanted map right here in Rosewood. Have the Nurburgring Northlife right here. Then we have just the Nurburgring, the GP. And then skip over that right there, Omega's hometown. Then we have the PCH right here. Then we have the Red Bull Ring GP. Then we have a road toll here. SRP A or Shitoku Revival Project. Then we have Silverstone. Then we have the 1967 version of it. Then we have the Era, which Bugatti used to test their cars. Then we have Sorrow County, Spa, Special Route AX from Gran Turismo. And then we have a uh, special stage route X for from Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo Sport. Then we have a speed test one. And then we have the Neve Speed Carbon Canyons right here. Then we have the top speed area, the Trento Badoon. So like a, a, a tow game map for the vanilla game, for the vanilla version of the game. This is basically like a little hill climb course. And then we have Neve Speed Underground 2's map right here, which is very crazy. Then we have the Valley of Lunga. We have the VR506 Route 27. And to finish it off, we have Zandvoort. So. So basically, like, we're gonna. So basically, that'll probably be it for this video. So. In the next video, I'm, we're, we're, gonna take, we're gonna take a look at this car right there, the SSC Tuatara right here we're gonna take a look at it right here so give you all the specifications of it stories and everything like that so if you enjoyed the video please leave a like hit subscribe hit that notification bell so you won't miss another upload of mine i'll see you guys in the next video take care